Hi, I'm Caroline Kim from Wella, and today I'd like to share how to achieve a beautiful silver gray tone on pre-lightened hair. This is Jill. She came in with about an inch of regrowth, natural level six, and she had previously existing highlights, some about a level nine really light blonde and some about a golden blonde. So in order to achieve this beautiful clean palette, I started off by pre-lightening from the mid shaft to the ends using my Wella Color Charm Powder Lightener and my Activating Lotion. It's a six volume developer. And I mixed that in a one to four ratio. I did that so that I would have control and that I can make sure that I wasn't going to disturb the integrity of her hair. So I applied that formula first from mid shaft to ends. And then on the roots, I applied my Wella Color Charm Powder Lightener and my 20 volume developer. I mix that in a one to two ratio. I let that process for 45 minutes and then I shampooed her out. I realized after shampooing her out that her roots were a beautiful pale blonde, but her ends that had the previous highlights were still a little warm. There was a little bit of gold still in it. So I remixed the Wella Color Charm Powder Lightener and my activating lotion in a one to three ratio this time and applied that from the mid shaft to the ends. I let that process for 30 minutes and then rinsed her out, and this was the beautiful canvas that I got to start my color. So now that I have this great canvas to work on, I'm going to begin by applying my color. But in order to have great saturation and an even canvas to work on, I'm going to section her into four quadrants. That way I have control, and I know exactly where I'm working in the color. So she already has a center part, so I'm just gonna take my comb and stick that straight down the middle so that I can have the beginning of my four quadrants. I'm going to simply take from the top of the head down to the ear and section that out as well. Her hair is already damp and I want to make sure that I keep it damp before I begin the application of my color. Since her hair is damp, I don't really need a clip to hold the hair in place. I will probably separate out the back with the clip just so that I can keep my hair nice and organized. I will be taking very small horizontal sections, about a quarter of an inch thick, that way that I have enough hair that I can see through with my finger and so that I'm able to saturate all the way through. I'm gonna clip this hair out of the way and we'll begin our coloring process. Before I begin, I always like to use a piece of foil that I hold at the bottom just so that I can have some control and have a place to put the hair. I'll only need one foil for the entire application just so that I don't get any color on her skin or on her towel. And this is my 10C, which is my cool, level 10 cool, mixed with just a little bit of the intense cool or the IC. I mix that in about a three to one ratio. I just need a little bit of that cool to be able to achieve that silvery tone. So I'm applying from roots to ends, and I'm gonna work my way up continuously in each of the quadrants until I'm finished. I'm just applying from roots to ends, making sure that I'm thoroughly saturating each section so that I'll have a beautiful color result when I'm finished. Now that I've completed the back section, I'm going to move on to the side. I'm going to do the same exact application method that I used previously. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. This way I have control and I can make sure that I'm saturating each section evenly and thoroughly. I'm gonna take a foil again and use that to make sure that I protect her ear. I'm gonna place that right here and start working, making sure that I apply on the root and then all the way through to the bottom. 
I think one of the greatest tips for making sure you get a nice, beautiful, silver gray tone is by working with the palette that's even. As you can see, her hair color is even from roots to ends. And then also applying thoroughly and being generous with your product application. I love the consistency of Wella Color Tango because it's creamy and rich enough uh, to smooth through her hair and I can make sure that I'm saturating every single strand. Now that I've completed this section, I will move on to my final quadrant. Now that I've finished the application, I will let Jill sit and I'm gonna watch the color as it processes. And as soon as it reaches that beautiful gray tone, I'm going to go ahead and rinse her out. And here is our final results. As you can see, the beautiful silver gray came out even and really smooth and really shiny. Just to recap, this is the formula that we use to achieve this look. We use the Wella Color Charm Powder Lightener and 20 volume on the roots, mixed in a one to two ratio. And then we use the Wella Color Charm Powder Lightener and the activating lotion in a one to four ratio. One ounce of the powder and four ounces of the activating lotion. And the toner formula was one ounce of the 10C or the 10 Cool mixed with one ribbon inch of the Intense Cool additive. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.